Actually, I started making paper in my kitchen. I used a fruit blender to, you know, uh, blend the waste paper I saw somewhere. Yeah, it was more of a hobby and uh, I made cards, gifts, gift wrapping for my friend's birthday, you know, and uh, they would always comment that, oh, it's very unique, where did you have this uh, wrapped, you know, and I would say, I did it. What? So, until I met a friend from DTI and she uh, encouraged me to join fairs, local fairs and then national fairs. So there was a time when the handmade paper business, like during the global financial crisis, that was from 2008 to 2011, it really, the market went down. Most of our buyers uh, closed shop for the stationery and packaging. So we moved on to home accents. That is when we came into developing lamps, uh, accessories, because it's still there. The market is still there. So you have to be, uh, instead of closing shop, you have to look at other you know, products that are still in the market. The DTI actually opened or connected us to the raw material suppliers for rattan, for bamboo strips, for abaca, and uh, connecting us with them really uh, solved that uh, very challenging problem of um, coming up with the raw materials. Uh, the trade fairs, local and international trade fairs conducted by DTI, are very, very helpful and uh, also their uh, product design. They also have contracted uh, designers and included us in doing prototypes. That's also very helpful. Also, uh, they have very good seminars on branding, product branding. For those who are, ju who are just starting, I think you have to have to find your passion what is it exactly that will make you happy? Because in the end, it's not that you're working, you just are having fun.